Hey everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as the Corsair King Jara Mogoksara, uh, now the uh, current Lord of Gorgossos. And uh, as you can see, we are back in the Summer Islands because even though I said last time they're not going to be as profitable as uh, provinces in the Slavers Bay area or the Jade Sea, um, they are particularly interesting because I actually have enough men to siege down Tall Trees Town. And the reason I want to do this is because. Um, well, I might get a slave camp if I raise that city, or if I, well, if I loot the city completely. And a slave camp level not only gives us money, but also, I think, could potentially help our colony. I'm not sure. Maybe it, it maybe I'm completely wrong here, but at least it, it's worth a try. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically the entire idea behind that. And I just uh, sent up a splinter force here to capture, uh, well, this cone keep or keep a besieged because the AI is obviously then not sending out any troops and of course their troops will be quite annoying because I think they have enough I think the Lord here has enough men to uh, destroy our forces yes he would now um, I'm pretty sure that we are actually gonna be come kind here um, that's what we can kind content or trusting now oh we actually gained the trait family person okay now these three that's interesting but I actually like that one the most. I mean, yeah, because the others would kind of be annoying. So I'm actually quite happy uh, with the traits that we've gotten. The, the traits are just amazing. Um, so yeah, and we're also honest. Okay, now I feel... Oh, okay, never mind. No, my, my guardian does not want me to be honest because he's deceitful himself. So okay, we're not honest. Well, that's, that's okay. I was kind of thinking about how we should roleplay this Corsair here because we're obviously honorable, but I feel like, the, you know, there can be honorable pirates. Just think of Saladosan. He's somewhat honorable. I mean, he, he was keeping faith with Stannis. Uh, of course, he was promised plunder and stuff, but he, he did keep faith with him and, you know, he's not particularly mean. He's not particularly mean pirate. Of course, he, he pillages. But other than that, he's not particularly cruel or anything. So I feel like that's kind of the type of, uh, of Corsair that we're going to be playing with uh, Jara Mogo here. But yeah, um, um, this guy, or this lady, in fact, has uh, wants to get married. You know what? Marry just as you please. I don't particularly uh, feel the need to find a husband for you. So that's, that's fine. Now, as a family person, I should probably have a little bit of a look at my half-sisters. I married off one of them, but I think I should marry off the others as well now. Um, marry you to, uh, ooh, General Fang of the Eastern Islands. I could do that, but I would like to offer you a good sister, of course. I don't really have any, but you know what? I'm gonna go with this one. 17 years old, you're 18, let's go and ha let's go ahead and marry. Um, and you have not married either, you're 15. I guess you're gonna marry the Lord of the School Islands, or, well, the Lord. Uh, of course, he's not a Lord, but you get the idea. There you go. Um, marrying off my uh, half-sisters seems like a pretty good idea as a family person. That's definitely something we should do. Now, also what I've, uh, yes, you've accepted, very nice, okay. Um, you've accepted as well, great. So, my uh, my sisters are doing well for themselves, I hope at least. I hope they, they're not gonna get captured here. Uh, the Isle of Wines has already fallen, but you are still, you're currently leading troops in the Isle of Serpents, which is actually here. No, Isle of Serpents is, where is the Isle of Serpents? Oh, this is over here, I see. So you're besieging that. You have already imprisoned this guy. Okay, well, how is your war going then? How is your war going? 10% in favor of Pirate Lord the Cruel, Robert the Cruel. He found a new wife, Lady Aglatine. Uh, another King's Lander. Oh, that's interesting. Well, good for you, but he's infirm. I'm not sure for how long he's going to survive. Yes, infirm giving negative one to health. Yeah, I think he's gonna die soon. Uh, his house will not die off, but he they will be landless for a while, so that's uh, obviously a little bit problematic. But yeah, um, so basically the is we're gonna be looting a little bit more, and um, well, I think we're gonna use the money to build up our pirate dens here. I think you can only this only pops up once you come of age because I checked earlier and we did we weren't able to build a pirate den here. But yeah, this is a huge advantage. If our colony is ever finished, um, we are gonna have so many troops because not only will we have you know our pirate den build up. Look look how much uh, how many troops you got here from the slave camps as well as the pirate port. Gaining so many troops just from these promises. And here we will have the huge summer fortress additionally. 
So yeah, we should be just swimming in, in money as well as troops. Uh, but of course, we need to finish the colony first. Anyways, though, the sacking of Tall Tree's town was most brutal, which, yeah, is not really what we would do, but okay. Uh, with many prisoners being taken, in fact, we have so many prisoners, we could well take some back to Gagos' slaves. Um, and yes, we're gonna bring them to the camp, and basically the idea is here that uh, we, we need them as, uh, as people to help us build up our colony. That's, that's the idea. So there we go. Bring them to our camp, so we should have... A slave, yes, a tiny slave camp level, so extra light infantry as well as extra tax income. That was basically the plan, and I'm happy it worked out so freaking well. Okay, so how much money have? Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. And we can just continue looting the castle here as well. No, never mind. No, we do not have enough troops. Okay, uh, the group of slaves that were captured called Chortree's Town were. Um, okay, so these guys are joining us. Mm hmm. Interesting. Alright, perfect. We'll, we'll, we'll just keep them for now. And I think our, yeah, our work here is done. We're going to head home. And let's see if we can sack something else. Unlikely. Very, ah, uh, maybe Koch. Maybe we could, maybe we could siege this. I'm not sure why their um, levies are not replenishing. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I think we're going to burn down Koch as well. Yes, as that might give us another chance for a, uh, for a slave cap level. And, you know, it definitely makes roleplay, sense roleplay-wise. Uh, even though we're honorable, we're a Corsair. We don't really know much, much else. So, yeah. Um, Manahura certainly handled the sword expertly, but when we started fencing, I realized she probably had only read our teacher's treatise without ever practicing any of the moves. I easily disarmed Manahura, and when I extended my hand to thank her for the practice, she slapped it aside and named her, me her rival. Okay... Uh, didn't I just let you marry who you wanted? I'm pretty sure I would let you marry as you please, but yeah, whatever. Let's see, so we have a rival and we have a friend. She's 13 and she doesn't need an education. As she's playful, I guess. Well, we're gonna go and give you that. There you go. You can select that. Yeah, thank you. Alright, perfect. So, we are actually up to the point that we make money. That's pretty nice. And oh... Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've sent my Justicer to improve relations with the nearest Targaryen because I had a look at her kids, and Princess Daenys looks very promising. Very promising, quick and attractive. I would kind of like to marry her. It's unlikely that's going to happen because she's faith to seven, and I do not have the interfaith marriage, um, well, enabled in the game rules, but still, there might be a chance. And look at this, more people are being beheaded on the order of Corsair Day. This family, look at this, uh, his father died in dungeons of Pirate Lord Robert Day, and then he was beheaded on the order of Corsair Day Fang. Wow, he likes killing people, he, he is pretty ruthless, yeah, I must admit, and his son is actually fighting his wars, he's leading troops in Talon. You know, if I had my ships over here, I could actually watch the fight, but it's pretty clear to me that uh, you'll, well, it's at 0%, so you've taken over this. And you've lost the Isle of Serpents. So it's still... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know who's winning. But you have... How many men do you have? 935. And you have 717. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how that happened. But now it looks like... Yeah, the the war is in favor of uh, Pirate Lord Robert. But no, uh, a peasant revolt has declared uh, their war. Oh no. And your wife is imprisoned as well. That's not good. Hey, you imprisoned your wife yourself. What the heck? You are truly cruel. And Valyrian's uprising. Uh, okay, declared they won Daenerys. Well, that's fine. She's still too far away, too way out of our reach, I guess, so it doesn't really matter all that much. But yeah, um, I, I can't wait until we are, first of all, fully of age so that we got rid of our regent and we know what our education is. And I cannot wait until our colony is done and our pirate den. A couple of them have been built because that's going to be amazing. Where is it now? There it is. 105 gold only. That's really not too much. Yeah, that, that'd be great. So as soon as our people come back, we should be able to uh, to pay for this, right? I mean, 100, yeah, okay. So we're going to get a little bit more money from sacking this and then we're definitely going to sack the town as well. And maybe, yeah, you know what? We're going to sack this as well. Yeah, we're just going to keep sacking everything. Uh, Viserion has escaped. Oh no. Alright, and Skull Island has fallen as well. Not good. 
How are you? How's your war going? Ooh, 73% in your favor all of a sudden. Seven, you have 700 men. Maybe have you lost your forces right now? No, he still has men as well. Must have been that he lost a battle or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you have been a Leon Ab my justice sir. Now, I'm not particularly greedy or anything, but I suppose I'm going to give you that reward. Yeah, sure, why not? It seems like a, something an honorable person would do, right? So, yeah. Um, and Grey Worm is still there. He has a former slave. And, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Can you hear these screams in the background? That's terrible. So, Eglantine was broken on the wheel by order of Pirate Lord Robert. This guy is truly cruel. Man, you, you, you guys like killing people, don't you? That's crazy. But yeah, um, so we've sacked Koch and we will continue to, uh, well, sack the city as that's going to produce quite a lot of money. Yes, we're filling up our loot bars much quicker than uh, previously. So that, I, I like that quite a bit. And with the money taken back, we can build our first buildings there. But I think I'm actually going to, you know what I will do? Um, I wonder why I let that peasant get away. I'll go and ask. Okay, I'm just, I'm just now. What the heck? What kind of traits am I getting? This is an honorable and just Corsair? That seems kind of strange, actually. But, you know, I mean, why not? Why not? And let's actually see if my half-brother, he's not married either. But I, I, okay, he's not. Can I invite you to my court? No, I cannot. Well, that's okay, then. That's okay, because otherwise I would have, uh, maybe tried and find a wife for you. That would be kind of cool. And Shakoro, yes. You are the heir to what? King of the Basilisk Guys. You can my current heir. Yeah, marry as you please, of course. Um, I need to produce a son. That is incredibly important. But so far, my wife is not pregnant. My regency has ended. Very nice. And we are a brilliant commander. Oh my gosh, yes. So, I mean, we're not just as great as our father. We're not a skilled fighter. But other than that, we are doing pretty, pretty good. Um, so I hope that we're going to have a long life. I guess, I mean, focus on family would be good for the fertility. I think we're actually going to do that. We are a family person after all. And yeah, look at this. Cavalry leader, direct and aggressive. All right, that's perfect. And we'll just finish this off here. And I should probably join as a commander. I should probably be part of this army, but yeah, whatever. Um, there is the Siege of Kutch Harbor. We gained quite some money for that. And... But we can still continue to loot. I mean, 75 people, that's really not a whole lot. We should be able to siege that down quickly. And then maybe I want to come back just so we can build up our pirate den. Perfect. Oh, and a famine again. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so we're not going to be building up our pirate den at all. Maybe, you know what? Maybe if I can sell my slaves. Now, I wanted to do that before. But the problem is no one, no slave trader actually has 400 gold. That's the problem. Can I buy and sell it? I don't think I want to. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I mean, since it's our only holding, we don't really have much of a choice, so yes. Um, and this has fallen as well. So we have a little bit more loot we can get. Okay, I think it's now time that we get on the boats. Okay, so sell this lady. I think I'm going to try and sell her for, well, she's not worth all that much. Maybe 75. How about that? How about that? Um, okay, you have accepted... Okay, you destroyed this guy. That's good for you. And he does not want to buy my slave for that amount. That's very very sad. But yeah, I hope that we have enough money. Oh my god. So we're basically just make enough money to pay for the next famine. That's ridiculous. That's simply ridiculous. Now, I, I, I keep checking, but I have my... I have my loot treasurer on overseeing construction. And I have you overseeing the problems as well. So I, I'm not really sure... What's up with that? But yeah, I guess we're going to have to organize a raid here. As I will need extra troops. And because that would then allow me to stand down these forces. Um, so yeah, that would be quite nice. Okay, so you still have 600 men. The war is still ongoing. Yes, but you are losing again. Okay, 226 gold. Perfect. And influx of loot once again. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What is our levy at? Still no levy. Famine. Marginal slave labor. Come on, that should help the colony, shouldn't it? Oh, man, for sure it should. But yeah, let's get you 
all of you on the boats. And I, I guess we're going to make a round on the Jade Sea again. Because there's always a lot of money to be had. 31 gold, 17 only. What about here? 44. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So I guess that's where we're going to go next. Or maybe let's, uh, let's start off here with new gifts. That's not really all that much money. It's actually not worth it. It's not really worth it. I think we're just going to go to Astapua. Actually, maybe Yunkai. Let's go to Yunkai. Um, and then uh, try and raid that a little bit. Perfect. Alright, so you guys still have... You kind of have a standoff. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And, uh... What's this? Oh, okay, I see. So, Dai Fang, you want me to join you in your war against Robert the Cruel. I'm gonna... <sighs> I don't know. I mean, he's infirm. He's gonna die, most likely. His wife's not pregnant. Ah... Uh, if I accept this alliance, we're gonna be at war with Robert the Cruel. Um... I'm not sure if I want that. I'm not sure if I want that. Necessarily. Um... But, but then again... But then again, we, we cannot really say no to this. We're gonna have to accept this. Because, otherwise... This guy's just gonna steamroll us. This way we might have a chance. And we might not even be called- Okay, we are being called in. So we have to accept otherwise we're gonna lose all of our prestige. And you know, I I'm just not gonna do anything. I hope that our colony is not gonna get besieged, but that seems unlikely. As they would actually have to send troops. Okay, so there's the battle. That's probably gonna be the size of one, yeah. Straight crossing, no chance. Okay, so Robert the Cruel is losing once again. And that is 100%, so yeah, I didn't really do anything. Okay, so 75 gold for this. Well, I have to press 75 now. I wanted to go for 40, but yeah, okay. Next time, let's go for 40. That would probably be a little bit better, but yeah, okay. I was being too greedy. Okay, so this is 100%. So even, you know, with me doing nothing, the war is over. Um, but this time, at least your daughter survived, so that's good, I suppose. And we have our alliance. Man. These wars that you're fighting are quite devastating. Look at this. You have both of you, I think. You have the triple taxation, and so do... Well, you do not, uh, but I saw it previously. Anyway, um, we have kind of messed, uh, messed up a little bit here, so we should make our way over here. I don't actually want to fight his forces, but... Actually, who are you fighting? Ori's accepted... Okay, that's just, uh, yeah, peasants. Uh, who are you fighting now? Yunkish slave raid. Alright. Well, I'm not really too concerned about that. I basically just want to loot Yunkai. Which is going to be quite uh, quite amazing. As long as he doesn't send his 6,000 men, I'm not too concerned about him. Even his 900 men, I don't really care that much. Yes. Oh, wow. Oris was crushed to death by elephants. Ah, Danny, she is uh, quite a cruel woman as well. But yeah, oh, look at this. Danies. Oh, and there's another girl. Razo. Oh, but that seems to be a bastard? That's kind of interesting. Okay, that was Danies' bastard. Oh, and we're going to get slaughtered here. So let's make our way up. Uh, hopefully we're not going to get crushed. It's not looking too good. Okay, yeah, we made it up. Perfect. <sighs> hmm. I guess we're just going to have to go to Karth again. This seems to be a little bit easier to raid and pillage. Because they're not protecting their cities as well as the Yunkai. Okay, so still no no advanced colonies, still the famine, no pirate den either, unfortunately. I haven't even been able to repay the loan. Oh, oh yeah, I have to repay. Wait, I can take a loan from Vassal, right. Yeah, I don't think I will do that. I could free my slave camp. I would love to sell them. 400 gold, that would be so helpful. Oh, by the way, this guy right here... This guy had an amazing, an absolute insane amount of money. He had 6,000. He only has 4,600. So I'm guessing he's been spending quite a lot. Yeah, he's been, holy shit. He's been building up this, this village as well as the, the castle quite a bit. He must have, yeah, he must have a lot of men as well. No, he doesn't really, not that many. But um, that's kind of amazing. He had 6,000 gold. I'm not sure where he got that from, but he, he just has it, so... That's good for him, I suppose. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, 31 gold here, 25 here. All right, cool. I hope you're not actually gonna make your way to Karth. Raiders. Oh, that was the wrong way. 
or switched it up. Anyways, though, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.